Good morning, good morning, wonderful people. I'm now here in Seoul and I want to show you around and see what it is you can do here and show you all the top 10 free things to do here in Seoul. If you're traveling on a low budget, this video will be perfect for you. So I just arrived at the Seoul station, a metro station, and there is supposed to be a really big grocery store who gives out a lot of free samples and I want to try that and get some breakfast there. Wow, it seems to be a huge grocery store. I hope they let me try all the good fruits so I can decide which ones I want to eat for breakfast. Can you see that? People are actually queuing to go inside the shop. Isn't, isn't that insane? <laughs> oh my god, I never saw something like this in a grocery shop before. That's really a bit... That's really a bit insane. They must be super crazy about shopping. I mean, come on. Queuing in a grocery shop to get in? I never saw that before. the banana chips I was trying earlier they were so delicious so that's gonna be a good snack for the day I was able to buy my whole food for the day there and it was quite cheap so yeah if you're around why not check it out there's really a lot of free samples I think it's a cool place to try some Korean food just to try it because I mean the flavors are intense you don't want to order maybe sometimes a whole dish so there you can try it So pretty much right next to the station is Solo, um, it's a sky garden and well it's just super nice to take a walk here and watch over the city, you have a great view from here. city wall is and there's a beautiful hike all around the city wall but I'm not gonna do this this time because I'm only in Seoul for like two days and I think you need some more time for that um, and by the way oh my god it's brutally hot today it must be almost 40 degrees when I was in the Vipassana it was 39 wow that was <laughs> intense and I think Day as well but my next stop will be indoors so that will be better to spend the midday sun absolutely amazing I just tasted so much dry fruit that I can't fit anything in my belly anymore there were so many stalls I couldn't even finish all of them I had to stop like I literally had to stop free food you have to imagine <laughs> but anyways guys this is a really cool market to come to I think probably the best I saw in South Korea so I'm now here at the Seoul Museum of Arts 
and it should be for free but you never know with this museum's information online I a couple of times ended up going to a museum and it was not for free after all but anyway this was not very far away from where I was last maybe around 900 meters oh oh there's a rain one but um yeah I'll just go and check it out on Monday and I was walking over to the Contemporary Art Museum and it turns out it's also closed so Monday is museum's closed day but anyways on the way back I was getting into a conversation <laughs> with some of these people who promote uh, that gay is a bad thing and then he sent me away with this yes <laughs> and no so now I have this stupid thing and I need to run around with it. I don't know where to put it. I see maybe I can give it to a child or something. No, that would be too that would be really bad actually. <laughs> I accidentally came across a small exhibition hall uh, here at the Seoul City Hall and it's about, oh let me see, what was the name, now I forgot it already. It's about this uh, Gungisi model, like um, there used to be a small village apparently here where the City Hall is standing now and you can go inside the exhibition hall and look at the remains. So this must be where the little houses were standing a while ago. 1926. Well, I just spontaneously joined this group meditation for an hour and it feels so amazing. Around a 500 meters walk from the temple is Hanok, a village, cultural village, and it's just a village full of uh, old remaining houses from uh, back in the days of Korea. And yeah, they converted it into shops and things like that. What a day, it's so hot. I decided to go back. It's only 6 p.m. but I'm super hungry and exhausted. So anyways, it has been a nice day and I see you guys for more tomorrow. Hey guys, unfortunately I feel not so good today so I won't go and do the last two things I was promising to show you. But anyways, I wanted to show you the, the Moonlight Rainbow Fountain and also the Dandeom Market, a shopping mall kind of thing. Um, yeah, unfortunately I could only show you 8 things and not 10, but just google the pictures of that and you will see that this is also worth to go. I guess um, my overall uh, impression of Seoul is that it is a really interesting and cultural high-valued city and two to three days there 
is a good time to spend if you want to get more into the culture then there is definitely more to do I found around maybe 20 free things you could do there if you want let me know in the comments below I will post other options to do as well and until then stay tuned subscribe to my channel and I see you next time